Sandra Timmins there on crack. Sir Geoffrey Norman, MP, co-author of a new government white paper on immigration. Sir Geoffrey, would it be fair to say that this paper proposes some fairly radical changes to government policy? Now, you know, I cannot possibly answer that question. The paper is not due to be published until next week, and it would be quite wrong of me to comment on it before that time. But you've already stated in a recent interview that the proposals are far-reaching. No, 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 I didn't. Uh, you're taking my words out of context. But you said on the Today programme... No, I did not. Yes, you did. Just this morning. <laughs> no, no, I have never been on the Today programme, and I never intend to go on it. Now, I will not answer any questions on this topic, though I am fully prepared to answer any other questions on government policy. Why, why are you against the referendum? What's wrong Because I don't believe in independence. It's as simple as that. You know, so you think you might lose, that's independence. why you're against the referendum? No, far from it. There's not, you know, if you believe well, in independence, argue for it. This is not my politics. I didn't come into politics to rip Scotland out of the UK. Scotland Would cares you definitely about... vote against a referendum bill? Well, we've said we don't think there's a place for it. It's not our politics. And frankly, the interesting thing is the SNP seems scared to advance the reason for which they came into politics. But, but if they did, you would vote against it? Yes. Some suggestion today in the Sunday Mail that Gordon Brown and perhaps Wendy Alexander too are ready to call Mr Salmon's bluff, i.e. you're ready to support a referendum to test his idea of independence. True? Well, I think if I was, I wouldn't be announcing it on, on, on this program. Why, why not? But I, <laughs> I don't fear the verdict of the Scottish people. Bring it on. Well, very well. Um, how much has your government's European policy then been influenced by no, the Eurosceptics? No, 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 no. If you think I'm going to answer any questions on government policy, you're quite wrong. But you're an expert and critic on the topic of border controls in the new Europe. No, I'm not. Well, you put your name to a recent paper. No, I didn't. Well, it's, it's here in black and white. No, it's not. My name is not on that paper and you know it. Uh, yes, it is. Look. No. <laughs> So let me start with an issue of leadership. Labour's leader in Scotland, Wendy Alexander, says there should be a referendum now on Scottish independence. Does he agree with her? It's not what she has said. And, and Do you have Gordon Brown's backing? I think everyone in the Labour Party has the interests of Scotland at heart. And all Do you of have us, Gordon Brown's backing? All of us believe that it is damaging for the SNP to claim that they want Do to you have the Gordon Brown's, Brown's backing? <laughs> Gordon Brown has made clear that he does see this as an issue uh, for the Scottish Party, for the Scottish Parliament. Well, I'm joined now by Wendy Alexander. Right. Is it true that Gordon Brown doesn't want this to happen? No, I've had many discussions with, with Gordon Brown on, on this issue. When I should did be you clear last discuss it with him? Uh, this evening. Uh, and what did he say? Well, I, what I'm making clear to you is that throughout this process, we are exposing both north and south of the border, the SNP, who yes, are falsely I, I, alleging... No, you've, you've told us all about the SNP. I'm asking you whether, whether, whether Gordon Brown endorses your position. Yes, because I am not. Yes, I am not. Sorry, is it, you yes, saying yes, yes, he is endorsing? Yes, we just heard on national, on national news tonight. Gordon Brown has made clear that he thinks the SNP should be harried in the Scottish Parliament as to why they are pushing this issue to 2010 yes, or indeed 2011. Ask you. Is, is, is Gordon Brown endorsing your decision to call for a referendum? Yes. He is endorsing yes. it, and he has told you that. Yes. So any suggestions that you've bounced him into this are wrong? Yes. I am not. They're, they're wrong. I'm not asking <laughs> yes, Mr. Very well. We'll go over to our Manchester studio now and bring in Hugh Pollock. No, no, no. <laughs> Sir so Geoffrey, would you leave, please? No, I'm not leaving. Go away. It's now my not inconceivable pleasure call upon Sir Geoffrey Norman to open this exhibition. Sir Geoffrey. No, no, no. <laughs> what you have to understand is that I'm not going to open this, this thing of yours, whatever it is. I'm not going to open it for you. I'm not going to open it for anyone. That's my <laughs> final word on the subject. Can you help us with a few things? If the Prime Minister is not persuaded of the case for an independence referendum, why did you tell Newsnight Scotland on Tuesday that he had endorsed your call? I said that he had endorsed my right to pursue whatever <laughs> tactics were right in the Scottish Parliament to expose the SNP, no, in fairness, including, you didn't. You were asked, including and we my saw right the clip. to call on them. Well, in fairness, what you were asked was, did the Prime Minister endorse your call for a referendum? And you answered yes. yes. The Prime Minister has endorsed my right as leader of Labour in the Scottish Parliament to do whatever we think it takes 
to expose the hollowness of the SNP. But that's not on what Wednesday, you said. Well, let me make this clear. On Wednesday, the SNP refused our challenge. They confirmed it yeah, again Yeah, but I'm asking Thursday, about your comments. You, you said you'd spoken to the Prime Minister earlier that evening, yes. and when asked directly if he endorsed your call for a referendum, you said, <laughs> yes, that's not true. Yes. He has endorsed the right of Labour in the Scottish Parliament to lead on how we expose the SNP in the Scottish but Parliament. But he has not endorsed your call for an early referendum. Well, he's endorsed the right of Labour in Has Scotland he endorsed your call for a referendum? Well, I mean, understandably, I am not, and this is important, I am not calling on the Prime Minister in Westminster to pursue a referendum. I think people would think that that was a very odd thing to happen in Westminster. This is about whether... <laughs> That'll be seven bounds forty, man. No, it won't. <laughs>